Quantum mechanics involves inherent uncertainty for every event which we call probability amplitudes, and one can convert it into actual probabilities using Born's rule. Probability amplitudes follow two simple rules. When something happens in a sequence of independent steps, we multiply the amplitudes of each step. And when something can happen in several alternative ways, we add the amplitudes for each path. With these two simple rules, we can manipulate amplitudes in any physical system, no matter how complicated. In a double-slit experiment, particles such as photon is emitted from a source and reach detector with two possible paths, for which we assign probability amplitudes Z1 and Z2 respectively. If we repeat the experiment for multiple times, we see the interference pattern in the detector. A classical probability theory cannot explain the interference pattern. Classical theory tells us to simply add up the probabilities for each path. Remember, our rules told us to add probability amplitudes, not individual probabilities. If we express these amplitudes in polar form, in addition to the result for classic term, we also get extra term called interference term. The interference term can be negative or positive. If it is negative, we call it destructive interference. And if it is positive, we call it constructive interference. Expanding on this, let's consider the case of multiple slits. By comparing the patterns observed in a classical versus quantum detector, we can gain insight into their differences. To model the classical case, we might use a Galton board, dropping a ball that bounces off multiple rows of pins and produces a standard Gaussian distribution. In contrast, the pattern generated by a quantum Galton board would be markedly different due to interference effects, resulting in a non-Gaussian distribution. In contrast to a classical deterministic computer, which takes only one path, a quantum computer follows all possible computational paths simultaneously, yielding results that depend on each path. Weird, but that's how it is. There are some subtleties. For example, there exists probabilistic classical computers too. But it is really this interference pattern that makes quantum computers different from their classical cousin.